So, some of you might remember last week when I covered the original designs for Marvel's Spider-Man, and I got a couple of comments screaming at me to cover the designs in the next game in the series, Spider-Man Miles Morales. A wonderful idea, something rarely found in a place like a YouTube comments section. I remember Miles having much more solid designs compared to Peter, and I think I remember correctly. I think Miles has a much more interesting set of new designs in this game than Peter did in his, and I'm pretty sure this is due to the fact that Miles has very little alternative costumes to pick from, and if Insomniac wanted several alternate suits for this game, they would have had to design their own. So today, I'm going to critique these costumes and at the end of the video, tell you why I think Miles got the better end of the deal compared to Peter. Miles' black and red costume returns in this new... Wait, no, it, re it returns. It's not an original design for this game, so I actually shouldn't really cover it. But, I mean, you've heard my thoughts on Peter's classic suit in the last game, so I won't cut this out of the video. Anyway, this is Miles' classic suit, and I'm not going to lie, I think this is a cool adaptation of Miles' OG design. It's a bit over-designed, and I know that turns some people off, but... I think that this time it's not that much of a problem, essentially since all of the original design elements from Miles' costume are still here. Red arch that goes down from the chest, framing the spider logo, red fingers, red tapering on the back that holds up the back emblem, Miles' signature mask with the red webbing. This design is basically classic Miles with minimal armor and extra lines. Some people might think those extra features ruin it, but not me, since the classic design of the costume is still preserved, there's just an armor element to it, slightly. Plus, I think there's so many interesting things about this costume that I would have never imagined for this suit. For example, giving Miles Morales water shoes. That's right, this design gives Miles these easy to look over water shoes. I have no solid proof as to why they did this, but one theory I have is that they did this to explain why Miles can wear his shoes over his classic costume, as they probably wouldn't have fit with the soles attached. So they made it so that Miles could just take his soles off by taking off the whole shoe. I also really like what they did with the gloves. It reminds me of Miles' old gloves from his comics. The red would just sort of trickle down his knuckle a bit, and Insomniac uses this old trait while adding armor to it by giving him red knuckle pads that are on the red of his hands. A very nice way to reference the old books. If I had a gold sticker, I would give it to you. I also really love the back logo on this suit. I just enjoy how vertical it is, and I love the sharp lines on it. I can't really say the same for the front one. I think the top half of the logo looks too... skinny compared to the bottom half. Like, the bottom half has much longer legs that expand horizontally compared to the top half, and it kind of bothers me. This suit has very little flaws to me. I really like most things about all of it. I love almost all the fabric texture they used, I love the lenses they went with, they make Miles look super friendly and approachable, which works so well with this version of Miles. Overall, this is a good suit. Now let's talk about my favorite suit from the bunch. The tracksuit is my favorite alternate suit for Miles Morales. I love this suit so much. If there was ever a point where Insomniac replaces Miles' classic costume with a suit of their own, like how they did with Peter's advanced suit, I'd want it to be the track suit. I love almost everything about it. The black, red, and white color palette, the black shutters lining the red lenses, the spiders, the gloves with the black and white fingers, almost everything about this suit is extremely likable to me. There's just one thing about it that bothers me. I think this design is too complicated. Like, there's just some times where I think, did they really need to add this? Like the paneling on the white, or the subtle webbing on the black, or the black inner thighs. Overall, I still really like this costume, but sometimes I ponder on the things I don't enjoy about it. Like, why is the fabric on the mask like this? It doesn't even look like fabric at all, it looks like plastic. Also, the soles on this costume have like that ninja toe shoe thing. I really want to make this costume for Trey someday, the guy I make all my Miles Morales suits for. But if I did, I would definitely simplify the design to make it easier to make, and honestly to make it more appealing design-wise. Now let's talk about a suit that I don't like anywhere near as much. The Crimson Cowl. This suit is so weird. Like, for some reason, Miles' lenses have spikes on them? Okay. The chest layout looks extremely similar to that of the Spider-Man Homecoming suit, refill cartridges and all. But in the middle of it is this extremely ugly and unfitting spider. Its edges are sharp and pointy and it kind of clashes with the 
blocky and thick lining that it runs itself through. I think my problem with this logo is that it doesn't try very much to look like a spider. Neither does the one on the back. And yes, this is supposed to be a spider. You can tell because they added two extra lines to the bottom of the logo to give this quote-unquote spider the extra two legs it would have needed to be one. There's no other reason they would have added these two small lines. I know how to fix these logos. So for the front, I simply just added the butt of the spider to the logo, and that's all I really think it needed to look slightly better. For the back, I think I would have just made it so that it has more of a spidery design and less of this corporate logo simplification ass spider. I just think this suit is okay. If you enjoy it, I understand why. I like the color red too. There's some stuff I think is cool. I like the sole design this time, it looks super blocky and it looks like a design that could be on a real pair of combat boots. I also think the exposed circuitry on the web shooters is cool, and I like the super cool low-key design they went for. But before we continue, I want to give a shout out that's actually super overdue. Someone made a mod for me in Spider-Man Remastered and Spider-Man Miles Morales. Shout out to D-Hedge for your amazing work. If you guys want to use this mod for yourself, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description. Alright, now for the- Oh god, what the fuck is this thing? Okay, so to give some context, this suit was made by someone named Dave Raposa, who from what I can tell loves to draw these super complex drawings of these characters and creatures with mythical super platy armor. Which explains why this Miles suit looks the way it does. Um, does this added context make it enjoyable? Eh, I mean, I guess. It explains why the suit is super detailed in some places, like the gauntlets. Adding yellow into Miles' color palette is not a conquest I started, as far as I'm aware, but this might have been the first suit to do it. But anyway, these gauntlets. I love them. I think they look super amazing when they glow with the electricity and everything, and this suit even has an effect where you can see the electricity coursing through it as you wear it. These logos are really squiggly and not very uniform, and I think that suit works it into the design pretty alright. For example, the top legs of the spider actually come up to make the rim of the collar. And yes, there's a collar on this suit. I think the mask is what turns most people off about this suit. The lenses are incredibly small. To highlight the rest of the helmet's odd features, like the thick webbing and a chin strap? What? Honestly, I don't think the helmet looks bad from afar, but up close, there's no denying that this super armored take on Miles might have really put some people off about it. I don't think it's terrible, but you know, I, I wouldn't use it too much. And I think since its design is so foreign to Spider-Man, only a few fans would really get a kick out of it. The soles though, I love the soles though, come on, the yellow pattern on the soles, come on. Soles, I love soles. I love souls. Anyway, now that we're out of the more weird areas of Miles' closet, we can finally get the suits that people love. This is the Miles Morales 2099 suit. Something I really like about this suit is the front logo, and it does the same thing that some 2099 designs don't really do well for me, and that's tying the spider logo in with the Day of the Dead skulls the costume is based on. Very good. Also, I'm pretty sure this costume is based on a variant cover for Miles Morales, but not much of said suit could be seen on the cover, so I'm pretty sure Insomniac pretty much had to design the rest of this costume from the ground up. So. It kind of counts as an original costume, I guess. Anyway, something really cool about this design is that its lenses emit a fog effect. That's awesome, especially with the snowy environment we're playing through in this game. I really like the back logo and I enjoy how much they were able to implement the colors of the Puerto Rican flag into the spider and other elements that taper over the costume. But other than that, this costume is essentially just a dark blue canvas with red, blue, and white shapes dancing all over it. The only parts I'm kind of iffy about are the gloves and boots. I think just having them be red instead of the dark blue with the Puerto Rican flag flowing across it like before is kind of what makes me unsure about these boots and gloves. The red just kind of appears on his shoes unless you're looking at the design from the back. At least for the gloves they managed to split them off from the rest of the suit with their nifty web shooter design. These web shooters genuinely look great. All in all, this is another banger from Insomniac. Except the souls suck. So, uh, the Uptown Pride suit. It's essentially just a recolor of Miles Morales' classic costume, but with a few subtle changes. 
Miles' pinky and thumb are now black, Miles has extra gold tapering coming off his shoulder, and the shutters on his lenses are blacked out. Aside from that, in the more triangle-oriented patterns on the suit, this is really just his classic costume, but the red is replaced with an odd shade of gold. I don't know if it's just me, but I think this highlighter yellow they went with isn't really the most appealing. But it's just a color, and I can't really debate colors with you. You have your favorites and your non-favorites. I can't change your mind. This is a good suit, but I only think it's good because it barely changes the suit it's based on. All right. Let's move on to the next. Oh, God damn it. Okay, so I don't like this costume very much. Like, I get what they were going for a suit made entirely out of polygonal shapes, but would this really make for an interesting suit? No. At least the back and the front are cool. Other than that, I just find this costume to be quite boring and ugly. The eyes are shaped really oddly, and the shape of them looks extremely odd from the front. It's got a glowing effect, which, you know, makes it glow as you use it. Sort of how they had 2099's costume glow in Shattered Dimensions and Edge of Time, but that's really all I can cite for this. This is just another weird design to throw in with the strike suit and the... the... Crimson Cowl. I forgot what it was called. I've been writing the script all day, so I'm gonna take a bit to eat something while I yell at you to subscribe. SUBSCRIBE AND BE COOL! Like Kayla's mom. I reached 50,000 subscribers last year, and that was a monumental achievement for me. And I'd be even happier if we could double it down before the end of the year. If you've watched for this long, you definitely would enjoy my other videos on niche Spider-Man stuff. And trust me, it does not get any more niche and weird than what we cover on this channel. Anyway, let's talk about the color purple. The purple rain suit is a really cool costume that I don't wear very much, as I usually only wear the only suit that looks like Peter's or the Into the Spider-Verse suit. But aside from my lack of experience with this costume, I still love it nonetheless. The idea of mixing Prowler and Spider-Man's costume is one that's tumbled around the minds of fans for a while, and Insomniac must have picked up on that. I've stated in the past that mixing costumes of different heroes doesn't really work, as you usually have to heavily cater to one design over the other, in this case, Spider-Man's, but the Prowler design is already fairly basic, and already kinda looks like Spider-Man anyway, so it's to be expected that Spider-Man takes the purple reins here. These eyes are super squinty and sharp, perfect for a Prowler reference. Actually, wait, no it isn't. I think a better choice would have been to make his lenses much larger, but keep the small eyes to reference how the Prowler's mask looks. Honestly, I think it could have worked if they just took the lenses right off of Prowler's masks and slightly tweaked them to make the lenses look bigger. Like the inner part, not the rims. I mean, his lenses already kind of look like Spider-Man's anyway. The purple is also broken up with gray, which is a really nice choice. It gives the suit more of a tactical feel. This big green logo looks great too. The shape is extremely satisfying as it is sharp and menacing looking, just like the lenses. I love the amount of equipment on this suit too. Like the utility belt and the several web cartridges all over him. These web shooters are super cool, and there's some sort of green emblem on the trigger. This was a super insignificant opportunity to add the Prowler logo onto the trigger, because whatever this is, that is not it. Souls. Okay, let's move on to talking about the best outfit in the game. But I can hear some of you going, PSM, PSM, I thought the tracksuit was your favorite. I thought the track. SHUT UP! Yes, because the tracksuit is just a suit. The bodega cat suit, that's different. This is more like an outfit, since Miles is wearing a hoodie, an undershirt, shoes, etc. A backpack, too. But nonetheless, let's talk about the suit. Miles sports a suit with a shinier gray fabric, almost looking silver. The lenses are massive and honestly one of my favorite sets of lenses in the whole game. If not my favorite, just due to how big they are. Miles' webbing is a bit maroonish, and it's also incredibly reflective, almost making it look black when no light hits it directly. I honestly really like this choice. I think having Miles' webbing slightly darker than some of the other red elements in his costume is a really cool way to add variety into the red in his color palette. I also think the darker red hoodie was a nice choice too, and I think it makes the darker webbing's addition much more palatable. The faded logo on the front is nice too. I honestly really love the upside down logos for Miles. You can tell because almost every single custom design I've ever done for Miles has an upside down logo. And of course, the most important part of the suit, the cat, Spider-Man. 
I gotta say, I love that they used Peter's mask for the cat instead of Miles. I think it gives these two characters contrasting elements between their quote-unquote outfits. I should say though, the fact that Miles can be thrown around in this game with this suit on with the cat in the backpack in certain cutscenes is incredibly dark if you really think about it. Okay, Pink! Yeah, I got this! Take it away, careful! <laughs> Alright, so, the last suit for this game was an added bonus that I'm pretty sure was scrapped before development, and then they put it in a later date. Oh. Uh. Okay. This is the advanced tech suit, and I have to say, I'm not really the biggest fan, or at all impressed with this one. This suit kind of feels like they wanted to make a high-tech Miles costume, but made some odd decisions along the way. Like the lenses having black rims. My phone went off. It's one of you sending me an email. God damn it. If the rims of the lenses are black, it just causes the lenses to blend into the black portions of the suit. It just looks wrong, leaving the white eyes without any rimming to break them up from the black. It reminds me of old concept art of Peter's black suit, where they had it so that the logo was red but the eyes were white. You can think this suit is cool and all, but it just does not work. The more aligned color palette works much better for the black suit. And I think the same thing kind of goes for the advanced tech suit. If you're going to have the red on his chest, it would definitely help to carry more of that over to his mask. It's not all bad. At least the logos are pretty well done, even if I think these logos are way too different from one another to be on the same suit. This one is too wide and this one is too long. I just, th I just think they're too different from each other. And I like the shade of red that they picked. I just think I could have lived with this suit staying scrapped, but I'm sure that it's someone's favorite out there, so I'm glad it's here, I guess. But that was it. Those were all of the original designs in Spider-Man Miles Morales. So why do I think Miles has better costumes than Peter? Or at least original designs. I meant the original designs. Why do I think Miles has better... Stop! Don't take me out of context! Stop! Well, for the most part... Insomniac experimented more with changing Peter's look entirely as opposed to Miles. Most of Miles' original designs for this game kept his original color palette intact and usually keep some of Miles' best elements from his first costume on top of that. And even when they step outside of the box, they manage to hit the target. Most of the time. To summarize, Miles just has more costumes than Peter that are original, and most of them are more faithful to his direct and most of those costumes that Insomniac made are more faithful to his original design, which already kicks ass. That's not to say that you can't like Peter's original designs in the Insomniac game more than Miles. I just think that the ones on display here are much more successful at being good costumes, all in all. And I think that's because of how faithful they are to Miles' original costume. I think there's something to be learned here. Anyway, thanks for listening. Be sure to leave an overly hateful comment about how I'm wrong and you're right. It's either that or you can blow up my house. This video is going to be like 20 minutes long. This is a super long video. I hope you guys like the long form content. Um, I don't know what's coming up next. Uh, I made the... Scott Johnson Spider-Man suit recently and that's one suit I really want to cover in a video. I also have recorded footage of my Into the Spider-Verse costume that I made um, and I might make a video on that. I would just need more like footage of it. I, I wanted to do more with the recording so that's why I haven't uploaded it or edited it yet. I need to get to doing that but yeah this is the outro card. This is a long 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 video so forgive me and give me a little bit of slack if i don't upload for at least like a week but um anyway uh my birthday is next month february 15th so any of you crazy ass super fans who who want to stalk me or whatever and remember my birthday that that's my birthday i'm kidding i'm kidding anyway uh thank you all so much for watching and of course, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.